Yo, what's up guys? So, it's about five weeks since the Ultra, and it can't be that long. Four weeks? It might be four weeks. Um, the Ultra's done, and it was awesome. It was the toughest and the most enjoyable day out I've ever had running. Um, it's at 9 a.m. start, 3 a.m. finish, I'm not even sure. Around there somewhere, it was well past midnight. Um, there is going to be a proper video on it soon. I'm putting the effort in to make a really good race video, not just a standard vlog episode. Um, so a little bit of work is needed on that one, so hopefully soon. Um, but just to fill you guys in who haven't kind of followed on, I don't know, Instagram or messaged me or anything. Uh, the race went really well uh, up until a point. Race day started 9am, felt really good. All the little niggles and pains I'd felt over the previous week had gone, um, which was great. So I felt like I could just run like normal. Um, I started off really slow and made sure I kept to my plan. I think like out the start, 100 or so runners, I was probably in the back 10 almost instantly. Uh, I made sure I didn't run when I didn't need to run and didn't push on a bit too hard too early because uh, I knew how difficult it was. So I let other people go off and do what they wanted to do. Um, and then slowly, as I went up the climbs, I started catching people and running really well. Uh, my plan, like I said in my last video, was four hours to cover Brecon down to the first checkpoint. I think I did it in like three hours, 55. So pretty much spot on, but a couple of minutes ahead of schedule. All right, so after the first checkpoint was the biggest hill of the day. Uh, it was brutal, um, but Going uphill seems to be one of my strengths because that's where I seem to catch a lot of people. I think I took about 10 or 15 places going up one hill. When I got to the second checkpoint, 35k, um, I had my first blister, um, so I made a decision to pop that and change my socks again, dry my feet off. Felt really good. So started running, uh, got to the next checkpoint about 45k and that was also fine. The blisters weren't a problem then. Um, started to feel a bit of tightness going down hills around the knee. Uh, so I knew that was starting up. And then um, moved on from there pretty quick. Got to checkpoint four at about 55k. That's where I met Al and Des. Um, and that's where all the pain started. Took my shoe off when I got there because my foot was hurting. And I had a blister about that big. So um, probably about a third of my foot. Um, and it hadn't really formed into a blister yet. The skin had gone all soft and mushy and um, there wasn't really anything I could do at this point. So again, I tried to dry my feet out, change my socks. Should have changed my shoes. You never know that could have helped. But um, I mean, I left there with dry feet. Um, and I'd say about by 60k, it got to the point where I couldn't really run anymore. So we rested up in Kfili. My feet were still wrecked. I had all sorts of blisters everywhere. Yeah, my feet were a real mess at this point. Um, and I knew I had three big hills left to go. Again, going up the hills wasn't a problem. I was absolutely flying up them. Uh, but the downhill sections then, it, that was probably the toughest bit because coming down off the second last hill of the day. Uh, it was so steep and my knees were having none of it. So that was that was the worst part of the day, but I was so close, um, kept pushing on. We managed to get up the last hill. And then there was a nice sharp downhill again to finish us off and a, a few K to jog into the finish, which may have jogged the last 10 feet of. Um, so yeah, when I look back, successful because I finished the day Obviously that's all I wanted when I started. I did have that 15 hour time, which I was kind of hoping for. And I was on target for that until 55K when the whole blister thing started. And then the last 30K was a real mental test. So in my head, it split up into two different parts. The first half of the day where I ran an awesome 55K and then 30K of torture and yeah, lots of pain, but got through it and I'm all good. Over the last few weeks, I haven't been taking the camera because I know I haven't been training as much. So I just want to go over what I have been doing. So probably about three weeks ago now, we had the Turn of Town Pink race up in Penalta Park. 
um, that was organised and put on uh, by Ginger Al, or he basically played a massive part in it. I don't know if it was fully organised by him, but I know he played a massive part, and it was an awesome race. Uh, Mark from the club won, he won the 10k, and yeah, we had loads of turnouts, and it was an awesome day. So yeah, then after that, um, lots of club sessions, but uh, we had a day out down Merthyr Mawr, which is some notoriously big sand dunes we have down here on the, on the south coast of Wales, and um, had an attempt at getting to the top of it without stopping, which I failed miserably at. I think I got three quarters of the way up. Then we had a go at the Strava segment going down, I'm pretty impressed. I think I got, um, I think I'm like fifth overall. Um, so that was cool. That was a really good day out. Then, um, then last weekend we had the Penavan Trail Challenge, which is a 13 miler, and yeah, so it's over Brecon over Penavan twice. So you start up with a nice long climb from Story Arms, kind of drop down the other side where it's like a. Um, quite a steep cliff face, which is actually the way I came up on the SW50, so we went down that way, loop around, back up the Roman Road, up Jacob's Ladder, Penavan, and then back down. It was a tough day. Before I went out, I didn't know if I was going to race. I didn't know if I was gonna go all out, if I was gonna take it easy, join a group of people, run with a club. Uh, when I started, my calf was not 100% and I was like, well, if I go all out on this, it's just going to end up being trouble. So grouped up with five of us and we ran it together and that was so much fun. Um, so now I've been looking for a race to do quite soon. Um, I want to put an ultra in the calendar for early next year. I've definitely got one already with Brecon to Cardiff in Feb and a couple of 50Ks in the spring. Um, I'm going to wait and see how it goes for the next month or so before I put something solid in the calendar. But I have booked a half marathon, I think it's four weeks from now, um, a trail half. Um, so I'm looking forward to putting in four weeks of training for something a bit quicker, um, something that I can go a bit stronger on so I can try and run the whole thing. But I still need to pick a solid race for next year, a big one. Um, in my head, I'm thinking I've got these 250Ks in end of March, beginning of May, that I'm gonna use as long runs as part of my training block for a bigger ultra. Um, it's either gonna be another 50 miler or 100K, probably in the June time. And I know that's such a long way off to be thinking, but, um, I definitely want a massive like, goal race for next year. I'm thinking 100k of some kind, um, and then I can put together a good plan building up from the Brecon to Cardiff in Feb. So after that's over, I can build up from there. Um, and it gives me so much time to build up the strength that I need for these ultras. So all the stuff I've been doing in the last three or four months, again, I'll be doing that for the next six months, the next nine months. Hopefully I will see a massive improvement compared to what happened this year. Anyway, done so much talking, and I don't even know if this is all gonna be in the video, I might cut a load of it, but, um, but yeah, I'm glad I'm back making videos. This week is back on the training, like I said, it is, um, it's all about this half marathon in four weeks now. 
Um, so you might see me doing a little bit of speed work on trails, that'd be cool. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And I'm sorry that the uh, Ultra video isn't here yet. Like I said, I really want to do it justice if I'm going to put it out. So thank you for that. See you guys next week.